I'm Marky e. Bilson. I turn on the microphone and I realize I've got to burp. So I hit the turn down the pot. You don't hear it. I just talk about it. Normally I talk about sports on 1420 WEMB Sports Radio, 12 to 2 every day. You can also hear it wherever you are, live. Jetbroadcasting.live, that's the URL. Find us on uh, your iPhone, your iPad, take us with us. Uh, you're listening on your tower computer, your laptop. You know how to get Jetbroad... You know how to get a URL. You know how to get the internet. Come on. Listen. Listen daily. And if for some reason you can't make it from 12 to 2, because I'm always here. I'm always, I mean, I'm the hardest working man in Tri-City Sports Media. I do not miss a day, folks. All right? I mean, I think that, so how many, I've not taken a sick day. I was sick one time. I remember that. Uh, there was one time I took, we did best of shows. Uh, when we first did this, about two years ago, we had a, a uh, we did, uh, best of shows when he ran highlights of interviews. We had Steve Spurrier's interview, all this. A lot of these you can find on my YouTube page, Marky e. Bilson. Uh, we also have now a uh, Instagram page that you can follow as well, Marky e. Bilson on there. It's actually Marky e. Bilson Tennessee Sports. Try to get more uh, hits, that sort of thing. But anyway, the uh, that's what's going on here. Uh, but yeah, we're having a lot of stuff uh, coming up out and out and about. Should mention that I'm always here. I'm not this thing where we take the days off and you know do the research here. Always, always here. Now, local story that I thought involving college athletics that you should know about golf. ETSU golf. I realize nobody goes out and watches ETSU golf, but this is something. Of course, Fred Warren no longer the coach. Jake Amos, uh, coming from South Carolina, is. But Mike Holbert, who was a fantastic golfer at ETSU, uh, well, he is going to be a volunteer assistant coach at ETSU. Holbert is the CBS rules expert for the PGA Tour, following a stint on the Champions Tour. He was one of the more decorated golfers in ETSU history, earning All-American honors in 79 and 80 before being inducted to the ETSU Athletic Hall of Fame back in 2002. And he won three titles on the PGA Tour. And his son, Trevor... Well, see, now this gets into why you have a volunteer assistant of this caliber. Son plays on team. He's a senior. There you go. But no, I mean, like I said, you're probably not going to go out and, oh, let's look at the golfers. You know, no, it's not going to be on TV. It's not, you know, it's not really a spectator sport. I get that. I do understand they draw crowds in Augusta for the Masters and such, but that's uh, the Masters in Augusta, okay? You know, so anyway, uh, just going to go and talk about the, the Holbert joining the ETSU. State. That's bit. I mean, that's a legitimate name coming about. So you've got that. Bigger names, though, are going to be honored by the Chicago Bears. Outside of Soldier Field on September 3rd, George Hallis. They still have GSH on the sleeves of the Chicago Bears. They have since 1985. Remember George Hallis. And they will have 12-foot, 3,000-pound bronze statues honoring the uh, founder, maybe even the founder of the league, George Hallis, Second all-time, I believe, in victories beyond only Don Shula as a coach. But uh, Hallis, who also, by the way, played for the New York Yankees in 1919. They may have been still the Highlanders back then and all this. And then Walter Payton. He'll also uh, have a statue. You know, you talk about the all-time Bears. I mean, yeah, it's hard to go against Payton and Hallis. Maybe you put in Dick Butkus. Ahead of one of those two, maybe, but yeah, Peyton won a Super Bowl. Most part, Peyton, there's some lean years with him, but most part, under Walter Peyton, Bears won, in large part because they had Walter Peyton. Butkus never won. That was the sad thing. I think one year they got 7-7. Seven and seven. Butkus never won. That's the reason why. Maybe one of the reasons why is that Gail Sayers was limited to five years. I don't know. So, but if you're going to put that Hallis and uh, Hallis and Peyton, I couldn't think of the name for a minute. 
Hallis and Peyton are number one and two in Bears history. Where else you got? I mean, Ditka, maybe? I think I might put Ditka ahead of... Uh, I, I think I might put Mike Ditka ahead of Gail Sayers. Simply because, and it's not a knock on Sayers, but Ditka played longer and he coached the team to a Super Bowl title. So he did it one way and the other. You know, that, who else would you consider? Is it Sid Luckman? I mean, that's a legitimate kind you know. You're going to have your Bears Mount Rushmore. I mean, so you got to have Peyton. you got to have, uh, well, you got to have Hallis. But then uh, we got we got Butkus. We got Ditko. We got Luckman there. And Luck, I mean, you know, we'll never forget the way you throw the nation with your T formation. I mean, that's, that's Sid Luckman right there. How can you deny him? Put five! Put five up on the Mount Rushmore for the Chicago Bears. Well, they've been around for a hundred years, so why not? Anyway, uh, but they're getting statues. Walter Payton and George Hallis. Yeah, they deserve it. Certainly. I once heard someone once tell me, anti-sports guy, say that, you know, scientists should have statues and, you know, not an athlete and all this. You know what I say? Bunk. Statues of works of art. Now, I, you know, say what you will, but there's a reason why we like Michelangelo's David. And I say that with an unblemished record of heterosexuality. If I can steal a line from George Costanza, played by Jason Alexander. Influenced by William Shatner, my idol. But yes, Michelangelo's... Da Why is Michelangelo's David a work of art? I think you can figure it out. Doesn't have an arms with the Venus de Milo, obviously. I mean, you know, quite the statue. Shame it's been wrecked. But yes, quite the work of art. It's gorgeous, right? I mean, this is what a woman's figure should ideally be. All right? I mean, this is what we have statues of. Bodies. Say what you will, but Walter Payton looked a lot better than Albert Einstein, okay? I'm just going to throw that out there. I mean, you know, not, so if we're going to have works of art, yes, athletic figures as a statue, that's what you want. We'll honor the scientists in other ways. I mean, you know, if you want to build one up, they're fine. But, you know, just come on now. You know, there's a reason why we make statues of athletes, and it has to do not only with the fact that we love sports, but there is an artistic element here. You know, they're giving us a better lump of clay, so to speak, to work with. I also have a feeling... You know, thank goodness, though, who's going to be making those those statues of uh, Walter Payton and George House? We can, I mean, thank goodness it's not Picasso. Remember the, the statue, the Picasso, in, you saw it in the Blues Brothers, it was in 1968, right in the middle of Chicago. It's like, what is that? You know, that's the great criticism of modern art, you know, and all the, there. what is that? City of Chicago actually gave Pablo Picasso, among other things, they said, we want you to capture Chicago in this statue, among other things. And people didn't do this in the 60s. They sent Pablo Picasso a White Sox uniform. Yes, they did. And, you know, so he could wear this and understand what Chicago was. Well, he made the great statue right there. You've all seen it in the Blues Brothers. You know what I'm saying? I think it's actually called the Picasso, if I'm, you know, son of an art historian here, okay? Maybe, maybe I call her up and find that out, but that's not a, you know, that didn't happen in the Netherlands 500 years ago, so I'm just going to have to go on my own, you know, basis here. But anyway, I remember when that came out. I don't remember when it came out. I wasn't born yet, but I've read the letters to the editor when it did come out, and I remember <laughs> One guy saying, this is Picasso's dog. We can only hope that George Hallis and Walter Payton, with their 12-foot, 3,000-pound bronze statues outside of Soldier Field, come out better than... I mean, that, we can only hope that, right? Okay. I'm Marky Bilson at Tri-City Sports. And I still haven't gotten to the new basketball uh Rules coming out, and I think I'm going to have to hold off uh, 
conversation about the Predators. They made a signing and all this, and I probably have to wait a little bit for that. I've got uh, some more stuff to talk about. I think I'm going to, yeah, I'm going to have to go to the Predators, their signing. And Sidney Crosby has been in the news here, so some off-season hockey stuff. But I think I'm going to just let that and take that into tomorrow when we come back. Uh, instead, I've got, oh boy, I'm going to kick a guy when he's down. You'll want to hear that. Uh, yeah, I am, as a matter of fact. And yes, what's this about agents must have college degrees? Actually, it sounds like a pretty good idea to me. It's Tri-City Sports Now, and I'll be coming back after this.